Hello, this is Falterfire, and this is part two. Uh, there will be a link in the description to part one if you missed it, or you can just jump in here. So, this is my Jazz Hands deck. We are doing reasonably well. We are Our main problem is we have a pretty severe lack of clans, uh, and we are going into Hollow Maw. I'm planning to make a... After thinking about this, after finishing part one yesterday, I realized... I have done a lot of runs with these like arcane tank style builds and I'm thinking I may actually record a video or put together, try and put together a guide for this arcane tank style list because I do think it is pretty consistent um, and flexible against idols and worse I remember different characters. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to start here, 50-50 shot at purging waters. And then here we get another shot at Purging Waters, or Bane could be okay. We have ended up being kind of could kind of curse heavy, and we are going through two Shadowbone Elementals potentially, which would let us get um, two copies of Morbid. We, we get which gives us two shots at Morbid and. Let's get Adept. Okay, there's an extra turn. It's only five mana right now. See if that gets this more. Yep, it's now seven mana. Can do this or that. This gets us to um, 12 growth though, which I think is worth it. All right. We can do that. We are going to end up unfreezing this front one when we direct the rain, but I think that's worth it. Um, and I think we're just going to point that there so that we get the 15 damage detonations. And yeah, pretty good turn one. Have done that sooner. I didn't think about the fact that I was actually going to freeze. Of course, this not being an idle fight means that it's pretty easy. Right, so we want to avoid picking up too much um, fatigue here. So to that end, I think we just do that, and then end turn. I should have played the uh, the fortress card. That's kind of what I was hoping to see. Get adept. We already had adept. Uh, we can freeze. This one's going to get unfrozen. So let's do that first. Um. Actually, we're going to do that because I think we can kill. Yeah. And there's that problem just gone. And I think we're actually going to do this, even though it's going to cost us full price, just because that is also going to kill. One fight down. Yep, Purging Waters. I really want this overcharge. Can we afford to not take the Purging Waters? I think we're going to risk it. Overcharge is just so, just does so much to fill in a hole. I may end up regretting that. Or I may get offered a sanctuary and it'll be fine. Boop. 20 damage detonation. So one important note here is that because we don't have any uh, normal damage sources, let me think here real quick, sorry. Uh, we can't quite get out everything we want. Do we really want to do that? Because we don't have any no, quote unquote normal damage sources, we end up being able to, um, 
Sorry, I'm trying to think if I can afford to do this. Draws is three. Eh. Hmm, I don't think so. We aren't going to use up the shock, naturally. And so we can just... All shock will be committed to... Uh, We only need one rank of shock in order to uh, get a bunch of damage off those detonations. Like we got like, I don't know, 20 extra damage there. Can I get more damage here? So much free bonus damage. Gonna play that largely just to trip the... Uh... This is, I guess, our only way to actually use up the... Sh actually consume the shock. That's not actually going to freeze. But now it will. Which means that we're going to get 20 damage detonation. No, all of our shield. Well, almost all of our shield. That actually seems like an okay time to do that. Uh, let's point all of the damage there. Let's see if we can just outright kill this. I know that one's doing more damage, but... I think this one's the bigger long-term threat. And... Yeah, let's do that. Take a tiny amount of damage here, but it's not an amount that we care about. Oh, right, we have... Vindictive War. That's how we managed to get healing out at some point. Because of the cannon blast in the previous fight, I guess. Right. Uh, is it worth overcharging again? I don't think so. I don't think we have any ways to uh, actually take advantage of that. It is worth absolutely giving up all that mana. Extra turns are very good. Good luck. Should have done that first. Okay. Don't need that this fight. Another extra turn. Gonna do that largely just to uh, do that. I don't know if we have. Mind Blast in this deck, but it'd be pretty good. Or in this card pool, but it'd be pretty good if we uh, could get it. Um, I think Direct the Rain is actually just better. Yeah, especially since we we're forcing a reshuffle anyway. I'm gonna do that first. So we have Frost Room. Good luck. We take a Bane. Yep. Absorb Element's not bad, but I don't know that we can... Well... I think the Bane's better because the Bane doesn't need an upgrade. And I want to upgrade the Direct the Rain, I think. We do have another shot at Purging Waters here. Although Sanctuary is still the card I'm kind of most hoping to see. Time for our mana to get stolen by this jerk. Alright, sinister runestones. We want to get rid of those if we can. Yeah, they unfortunately make this quite a bit worse. Just because we... Drawing both of them at the same time and that we started this turn with whatever active. This unfreezes, but again, like, it does so much work for us. 
I think we are just going to try and kill this one before we work on that one. And yeah, we can deal with this little bit of damage. Okay. So yeah, this is the scary turn, because this is where we get all this arcane leak. And even with the cleansing jar, it's still a decent amount. Maybe we want to do that next turn, but... I think this is what we want to do. Okay. Now we hope that we don't get exactly a flyer candy yourself this turn. Okay, we didn't. Okay, that'll freeze, which is what matters. Although it does mean playing this is probably not something we can do this turn. Because we really don't want this to unfreeze this turn. Okay. Fortunately, we do have that. Unfortunate to draw both of these back to back, but I don't think we play the second one. Hey, got him. Makes playing this probably a poor choice. At this point, since we're going to have to spend this mana anyway, let's just go ahead and do that. And yeah, that did heal us with the uh, Predictivora. Okay. We can do this, play out these that we couldn't play anyway, and then take another turn. Unfortunately, we still haven't managed to line up uh, the report, but he's worth setting that up. Next turn is the problem turn. Alright, we've gotten rid of the curse on us. Goodbye. So getting rid of the mighty helps. Yeah, so that's just gonna draw us exactly those two. That's okay. Actually, it into exactly that. Um, yeah, like that. And that's worth it because we have plenty of shield. One of the nice things here is we are able to keep the uh, powerful under control. And the biggest threat to this thing flipping is that, um, that it's going to have enough powerful to cause us problems. Let me save that for next turn. And also, this is not an idol that stacks more powerful on it, which helps. So, ideally, we would kill this before we had to play out everything. But unfortunately, that's just not how this is going to work out.
but we do get to take another turn immediately. We get to freeze and take away all of its uh, frenzy. And of course, it takes a bunch of damage from uh, the bleed that it, ha it just permanently has. All right. Very close to lethal here. Literally, the first card we play next turn kills it. Bye. Cleansing shield. It's cleanse. We need it. I think we would need it way more than we need calculated. another calculated deception. Especially going into this fight, we really need that cleanse. At least there isn't an idle active, so it's just the default stuff that we're dealing with. Oh, I should have gotten this out first. The sequencing is hard. Do I do this or that? I think this, because I think we want to save whatever for uh, when we get whatever the ring. Direct the ring. Trying to think. Uh, decent chance this draws us enough mana to justify it. If we do this, it's gonna unfreeze when we do that, but I think it's still worth it. But if we are gonna do this, I think we do Arcane Nova first to get um, the bonus damage. I think we do want to actually just try and prioritize getting this dead. Because just only dealing with the um, the main dork would make our lives easier. Start with that. Oh, I should have maybe started with that. Was spending three health there, I think. Pop. So I was gonna work on killing this one, and then I just kind of forgot. This unfreezes, which I don't know if I want to do that. But on the other hand, if I do that. Potentially can set up a kill. Should have done the math on whether or not I'd be able to actually use these, because in my head I was definitely going to be able to, and that is not really the case. Hey, refroze anyway. I guess. Do that. Pop you out of existence. Get slightly depopped. Alright. All right. 
I think I do go ahead and overcharge because it's gonna trip another detonation. Yeah, so a lot of the curse that it has is from its cursing itself. So But regardless. Uh-huh, we have no curse, which completely negates the damage that we would take from that. Right. It is still worth spending even 40 mana on an extra turn, I think. That's actually still not quite enough to do everything I want. Do that and save this. And I am still going to direct the rain because that is going to do a lot of damage. And now it does. Well, not quite yet, but soon. And yeah, I will take a morbid end. The icy change also would have been very good, but um, this is probably better. Yeah, I think you want it more than the others, because we it, it does technically make our crystal sprites a little better. Like, they're not... It's not the end of the world if they can actually do their thing, but it's also totally fine if they can. Let's do that first. And then get more curse. And then take another turn. Slightly awkward hand. I'm going to believe in power drawing mana. Not really a ton of block there, but it's fine. The initial spin up on mana can be a little awkward, but I should have done that first. Once we get rolling. I didn't need to. Hey, happy to see that freeze. Pop, pop, pop. Lots of growth. And dump a bunch of arcane onto you. dead. And we can easily do that. Pretty good set of things to get in the same turn. Now oh, I should have done. Oh, it's too late now. Uh, don't need the overcharge. And then we can direct the rain, which will do some damage. So close to having enough damage. Oh, we can do this, and then we will have enough damage off of the, um, the curse. Goodbye. Um, now we'll take an absorb element. We'll see if it ends up being good. I may end up cutting it. Post mid boss. I could go that route. I'm a little worried about this fight. Let's see. I absolutely want to get that out. Just 
just gonna get that nation off, and then taking the turn makes sense. I mean, we may as well get rid of our status. Although I guess I say that. Mm -hmm. Blocking that initial summon. I think blocking the double summon is good enough to be worth uh, not playing the direct the range for. Especially since this would, would have been a relatively anemic rain direction. So we don't have a way to transform whatever, but... Alright, we are tough, so... Oh, we didn't get the shield there. In turn, I think. We can afford to explode, we just don't want to. Which, you know, I think is, is an understandable impulse to not want to explode. Alright, that should do... Okay, work. Yeah, I'm not sure that Absorb is going to... Like, Absorb is a card that, like I said, kind of demands an upgrade. I don't know that I want to commit an upgrade to it right now. I want to Cauterize, but I also really want to Occult Ritual. I think Cauterizing is important. And then we just play that. Just because Cauterize helps us deal with all of this curse that we've got. Which I would like to make go away. We're going to play these and hope that we draw into... Okay, nope. Just hoping to actually get the Thigmajig that... You know, the who's the one. The problem. Uh, that's not enough. I guess we just do that with the status reduction more than anything else. We are up to place plus 8 mana a turn. We are now down to plus 7 mana this turn. Super duper worth it. That doesn't freeze the back one. Do I direct the range? Do I get the shield? I think both. I think I should just start there. That only gets me two detonations, but that's still two detonations. And yeah, the curse, I think, is doing a substantial amount of work. And we're going to get, yeah, another Morbid End here. Which is pretty good. I'm deciding what I do here. I think I do draw cards. Explode here. Five. Deal with it. Oh. 
Um, sure. That's worth it. So close to that kill. But we are guaranteed to get that kill this turn, which... Value. Um, Bridge that actually just is going to kill this front, too. There we go. And that'll kill. Oh, he didn't actually die. We can fix that. Back to full health. Um, Baneful Ray is not bad. It's not amazing either. Is it? Is it amazing? Mystical Bloom seems amazing. I think we can actually probably cut the Occult Ritual, maybe, with the Mystic Bloom. That seems basically terrible. I don't think any of that's great. Yeah, Direct the Rain. Very good. How many rests do we have? Seven, so we can probably get removals out of that. So I'm tempted to... I think I skipped that removal because I would like to have, a, I think, a second Morbid End would be pretty nice. Oh, I guess I can't force the Morbid End because there's two Elites in that fight, which is something I should have thought about sooner. Let's just go and do that now. Yeah, being able to pull them out of uh, Hidden is pretty useful. Make sure we have plenty of shield. We don't want to draw into the other one, though, because we want to go into this Frenzy turn with no fatigue up. Alright, and now we are at the effective cap on um, whatever. Okay. So we dodged the Arcane Weakness, but not the Arcane Leak. mana is in the deck. Not enough. Especially when we've got whatever coming up. And this just gets us to the next, that extra detonation was pretty nice. Not a fan of that purity. That helps. Although I was really hoping that was going to get us a detonation. Because we can freeze two of them if we can get the purity off of them. Uh, hmm. It's a little awkward. Oh, we can only freeze this one. Well, that's easier to get purity dealt with then. I guess we could have frozen with that if we could have, but we couldn't, so. We could have frozen if we could have. Honestly, I think we just get you closer to dead. We are taking an okay amount of damage here. But okay, I mean, like, it's not great for us. Maybe we should have been more worried about this fight, huh?
That at least gets rid of those purity. For real. Should have considered maybe sequencing this out differently, but I didn't. So. We're going to take some damage here. This sequencing also unfortunate. Gonna lead to me taking even more damage that I absolutely did not have to take. Yeah, I think this, though, given the way this fight is going, we cannot take the hunter fight. I think the hunter fight absolutely kills us. Although I think the hunter fight didn't have idols active, I still, uh, I'm worried. Right, fortunately, whatever is attacking this turn, the middle one's dead. The back one is almost dead. Wow, that is crazy amounts of damage. Why is it so much damage? Well, we can freeze them so it doesn't matter too much. But that is... Way bigger hits than I was expecting. I guess it's the combination of the lethal and the critical, so arcane detonating them also makes our life a lot easier. Let me do that. Okay. I'd like to do this, but I don't think I can justify it. I'm gonna do that first, so that then I can cleanse off that. So that hurt a lot, but we did make it through. Do I just spend the reroll? <clears throat> Do I just spend the reroll here hunting for um, that thing? Hunting for cleanse. That's not really useful. That's okay, but it's not amazing for us in the current deck. I think we just take the commanding spirit, and we're actually going to rest at least once. We can't take CPU. I think this deck has. Does not have the cleanse, I think, to take CPU, especially not with double idols. Uh, that gets us an upgrade. That goes to what? 16 curse? That's, I don't think, enough of a boost to want. That triggers curse twice. I think that's actually good. I think that's going to represent a decent amount of damage. I'm going to hope we have enough health for this. Chipping away at. I mean, we need to chip away at both of them, but. Fortunately, there aren't any idols active, which makes this substantially easier. But this end is pretty rubbish. I think we're going to have to end up playing that. So we're going to start with this and hope that we draw into mana. No such luck. So we're just going to start playing that. Blocking the summon is pretty nice.
I think that is worth doing. Especially because we can refreeze here. And in turn, start a new turn. Okay. So we're going to do that. I could do that into that. actually dying to burn, which will work for me. Having one curse here actually ends up being good because having this attack before X2 was obviously totally fine. I guess freezing it this turn doesn't actually do that much for us. That still seems worth it. And we'll absolutely bane. Just gonna do yeah, 120 hit, 132 damage there. And that's lethal. No, not quite. Well, now will kill. That's not what we're looking for. I don't think that's worth it. Contemplate though seems fine. For cuts. Might be Arcane Nova. We are going into a single enemy fight. So I think that's and that's it's just an expensive card. Uh going into this with Plate it seems okay. There's these chance gets just detonated off us at some point during the fight, but that's fine. That does nothing for it. Well, the arcane detonation damage helps. Probably more than the Wand of Control. Yeah. What's the other options? Yeah, that's the one we want. It's not an amazing improvement, but it's better than nothing. And yeah, I think the Absorb Element is pretty meh. Alright, going in with Tough is nice, and I think we need one more rest here, and then save the others. We can get another item. That seems good. That's definitely better than uh, Vindictive Aura. Okay, here we go. Hey, immediate bonus turn. Uh, I think. That makes sense. And we get to preserve our purity. Although it's immediately going to get spent, but... You know, it's the principle of the thing. Pitch that and then do that. No, all of our shield. Right. And unfortunately, Bane was right on the shuffle. Save that for now, I think. Do want to get our shield back? Don't really have anything we really need to cleanse. <clears throat> I 
Boop. Yeah. There's our first actual trash cards. I guess that would be... Those two are technically ways to get out. Whatever, but... Uh, I think I'm gonna play these. And then, yeah, I think getting that out makes the most sense. We had quite a lot of curse. And there's that. We want to. Normally we would cleanse ourselves twice here, but I think I'm fine just doing that. Could be a mistake, but it's what I went with. Let's start with that, I think, which gets us Several detonations. Absolutely want to do that. I think we save that for the moment. So close to that freeze. Okay, we didn't get detonated here. That's what matters. And we are stacking a respectable amount of curse. 66, sure. Should have done that first. Um, sure. Yeah, I didn't think that we were going to draw anything, but it was worth a shot. Just get out more curse, or do we play this? I think we play that. Kind of a tough choice. 36 damage from curse, which means that we now get over 200 da over 250 damage from Bane. I suppose I didn't need to play the whatever there. Purity's kind of annoying, but um, let me do that. Oh, I should have taken Dark Terrain. I wasn't thinking. Once again, we get this Bane at like the worst possible time. By which I mean, like we draw it right as we are shuffling, which means that we don't get to do it. Like we have to now fully cycle the deck again. We couldn't get that off, and we wasted a freeze, but we're still in good shape. I don't think we're in. I don't think there is a run of things that can happen here that leads to us losing. Um, but, you know, it's possible I'm wrong. Seems really unlikely at this point. That at least cuts through all of the purity. Yeah, we don't get enough damage out of those to really justify it. That's pretty good. And now we win next turn, basically. Because this is gonna just... Yeah, it's dead to curse. And we may be able to give a kill with this. We explode, but yeah. Rip. 
Okay, and we dot or we win as we as we lived, failing to ever actually transform the sinister rune stones. That obviously did not end up mattering. Do that just because we can. Completely laugh. Get the screenshot and get. The And yeah, that is the Jazz Hands deck. And so one of the things I like about it is that you do have a number of options for how this run can go. Um, you can, this deck can go, like this deck can be played in a way where you kind of aim towards setting up a permafrost list. Like there's a, I want to say Frostwave is in the card pool. So like you can end up going towards like Frostwave and other freeze cards, take the Voltaic Frost, etc. And you end up building a freeze build. Uh, you can do what we did here, where we ended up kind of on this arcane tank build, where we had curse as our main damage source. Uh, you can end up, you can even end up like in a more damage heavy build if, if things go really weirdly. Um, but yeah, you have several options, and most of them work out pretty well. So that is Jazz Hands and how it beats idols. And I will see you next time. Toodles.